Consider this. You have an AWS Lambda function with versions and aliases, and you want to integrate it with Amazon API Gateway. And on top of this, you want to point the API to a specific Lambda alias. Is it even feasible? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give your function a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, then click on create function and then scroll down to the code source section. Here, I'm going to update the return statement to just return the version one string, then hit deploy. Click on test, give your test event a name, then hit invoke. Looks like our Lambda function is working as expected. Next, head to the versions tab and click on publish new version. Give your version a description, then hit publish. Next, let's head back to the latest version of our Lambda function and update the return statement to version two. Hit deploy, then test your Lambda function to see if it's working as expected, then head back to the versions tab. Click on publish new version, give this version a description, then hit publish. Next, head to the versions tab and confirm that you have two published versions of your Lambda function. Now, we're going to head to the aliases tab, then click on create alias and give your alias a name. I'm going to call my alias beta, then split the traffic between version one and version two at a ratio of 50-50. Navigate to the test tab, give your test event a name, then hit test to invoke this Lambda alias. Looks like the version one of our Lambda function was executed. If I hit the test button bunch of times, the traffic should get split between version one and version two. Next, I'm going to copy the function ARN of our beta alias, then head to the API gateway service. Click on create API, then hit build in the rest API section. Give your API a name, click create, then head to the actions dropdown. Choose create method, select get, and leave the integration type to lambda function. Paste the function ARN of the beta alias in the lambda function text box, then hit save. Finally, if you hit the test button bunch of times, you should see the traffic being split between version one and version two. There you have it, but before you go, Here's a question for you. Why do AWS Lambda functions never get invited to parties?